I am familiar with the uh, Sankshadovsky protocol on the uh, neurooptometric rehabilitation therapy uh, on visual snow. And this really interesting study was recently published in a peer reviewed journal, Frontiers in Neurology. Um, and it gave us the results of a initial uh, pilot study that showed that this treatment was capable of essentially modifying, improving the quality of life of patients with visual snow. I am familiar with Dr. Sui Wong's uh, newly developed mindfulness-based treatment. So I'm very interested in her work. Um, and I think this avenue of research is incredibly interesting because it offers a uh, treatment that is uh, not a drug-based treatment that doesn't come with any side effects that can be uh, used uh, in a very uh, simple way and can be replicated across different centers and could potentially help a lot of people with uh, visual snow. And it probably won't be the case that every single patient with visual snow will be able to have an effect with a single treatment. It might be that some patients respond to non-invasive, non-pharmacological therapy, and maybe other, other patients will be better treated with drug therapy. For the visual snow patient community worldwide, I would say that my main message is keep doing what you're doing. The incredible amount of effort that patients have put into allowing the advancement of the understanding of the research around visual snow has been great. I, I'm quite confident that we will have big advancements and new developments, at least in the understanding of what visual snow is. And I am sure that we will have more and more people discussing this condition, studying this condition, and encountering patients with visual snow. Um, so my message is, of course, of hope and of continuing your incredible activity, uh, which is really changing the way that uh, visual snow recognition um, uh, is happening around the world. My main message for the medical community, for my colleagues, and particularly for those who study and treat uh, visual conditions, I would say, of course, get interested in this uh, really unique condition. Uh, but also, I would encourage everyone in their clinical pra practice uh, to try and start recognizing uh, these patients, to start asking the questions. Uh, and I think you will see more and more that uh, patients might uh, report the symptoms of visual snow. And once you hear the perspective of a patient and you hear more and more, uh, then it is easier to recognize the condition. And a really important message that I have is to try and not dismiss uh, patients when they recount their symptoms and their histories, even if you're not entirely familiar with the condition at the start. Um, there's always ways of uh, getting educated and knowing more uh, about what is going on in visual snow.